they don't have no information to back them up except bigotry and hatred uh, of a community, and that's not enough to put into a constitutional amendment. But they got the power to do it, and they're going to live to regret it. As a senator representing one of the most conservative parts of the state, I led the battle to pass the so-called South Carolina Marriage Amendment. You take an issue like this that's as important as it is to so many South Carolinians, who I simply refuse to believe 100% I'm a bigoted and small-minded, or whatever you want to, might want to call them. I have come to see discrimination against gay people as a great wrong, akin to discrimination against blacks, women, and other minorities. In preparing my remarks for today, I have reflected on my state of mind and what drove me to be so active on this issue at the time. The real sin here is that the judicial activism in this country that is slowly but surely eroding all of our rights. And like all people, my motives were not single-faceted but nuanced and complex. What were you up against? You were up against something that is immensely powerful. So, who's trying to change the law? Who's well, trying to change the law here? I, uh, I would leave that up to you, Senator, but it appears that, that uh, the opponents of the, of the current legislation being considered today are, are out to, to make a change. The court is there to protect the rights of the minority against the whims and power of the majority. The judiciary is getting worse and worse and worse about overturning people's fundamental rights in this country, and that's what we're trying to stop. And America should not have laws on its books that give aid and comfort to those who have prejudice in their hearts against gay citizens. But same-sex marriage will not socialize males because males do not socialize other males. Don't you be misled. It was the preachers telling the parishioners and the congregations to go out and vote against the gays because it's an abomination against God, you know that it's uh, that God has specifically said, I hate this. I hate these people so bad I'm going to blow them up in a mushroom cloud. And so these people are blind. They have no ability to see outside of that. We deny that a same-sex relationship can ever be the same or equivalent to a man, one man, one woman in marriage. And so, you know, hey, do I go to hell or do I go vote against the gays? Well, I think I'll go vote against the gays. This, that simplistic mentality but you better believe that's what's driving it. Waking up at the crack of dawn to go fishing with mom and her lesbian life partner just doesn't have the same impact as going fishing with dad. And then we have this. We have these jewels. Uh, pumping ignorance and hate-filled propaganda into the minds of citizens every single day. They take a page right out of Joseph Goebbels in the Third Reich, who said, if you tell a lie loud enough and long enough and you shout it with particular hatred, it will appeal to the masses because the masses are more likely to respond to hatred and anger than they are to kindness and love. Do you believe, sir, that, that I or others that support this legislation hate you? No, sir, I don't. Do you believe we're filled with hate? I can't tell, I can't go with your emotional state, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you said a lot through your remarks, you used the word hate, and I've heard the word I, hate used a lot today. I didn't, I don't think um, I used the word hate. Well, you used the word hate and you used the word despise okay. just a few minutes ago. But anyway, um, you know, because I, I really don't think that, 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 there, that, that this bill is coming from hate. It, it is the James Dobsons of the world and the Jerry Falwells of the world and the Pat Robertsons of the world that would just as soon see gay people vanish. Now, how does that happen? I don't know what ideas he has for how that's going to happen unless it's the mushroom cloud. Same-sex marriage will subject a generation of children to the status of lab rats in a vast, untested social experiment. We know that Adolf Hitler thought gays as subhuman and murdered thousands of them in concentration camps. And they was the first to be, you might say, crucified? I don't know if they were the first. The Jews took it pretty hard. In Nazi Germany, Hitler, members of the gay lesbian community was the first to go. Now they know by being gay lesbian that they have a chance, I mean, they had opportunity, I mean, had a chance to, first of all, denounce that they was gay lesbian and be saved, or go to the... Um, to the concentration camp. Yeah. It's exactly what Hitler did. 
um, and partially what justified in his mind his war against the inferior people of the of the world. He talked about these peak patches, um, and I think you said they were what? Well, what are they symbolic of? Well, they, they, it, was a, it was a symbol that homosexuals were required to wear in uh, Nazi Germany uh, during the uh, reign of terror of Adolf Hitler. Uh, I think it, is, is, it equates the proponents of the bill to being Nazis. I think that's outrageous. Now, that's the level of tolerance uh, that, uh, that you see who, who would wear uh, pink badges and say, that they're on a par with that. That's the kind of, in my view, a uh, call to violence because I happen to disagree with them on a bill. So I think you have to look at everything in its proper place and, um, and, and, and take it for what it is. I keep coming back to the whole Nazi theme and I believe that it is that, 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 that prejudice against Jewish people, gypsies, homosexuals, whoever, that when we have prejudice against people, it opens the door for horrific violence and horrific acts that normal, good, decent people nor otherwise would never engage in. And I just think that it is absolutely outrageous that we have totally lost our historical perspective and that, well, I haven't lost it, but that folks would come in here and somehow equate what's happening now to a process where homosexuals, Jews, gypsies, uh, mentally retarded people were herded onto trains like cattle, stuffed into cattle cars for days on end, deprived of water, deprived of food, dumped off the trains, separated into work camps and death camps. The death camps were told to take off their clothes, that they were going for showers, they were stuffed into vast gas chambers where Zyklon B was dumped in, and they died an agonizing death for an hour and a half. And to equate this to that horrible atrocity, in my mind, is outrageous. And it is, it is, a, it is a, a slap in the face to those that actually suffered that outrageous atrocity. And it's also a gross and outrageous insult to the vast majority of South Carolinians who simply believe in traditional marriage, who would never dream of supporting, sending, uh, or doing any of the horrible things that were done in, in World War II by Adolf Hitler to homosexuals or the other persecution of homosexuals. To say that we are going to set this group apart, we are going to assign to them certain responsibilities for crimes, that they didn't commit. And then it's okay to go and, and, and get them and to kill them and to beat them up and to do other bad things to them. Senator, I'm not telling you that I agree with Adolf Hitler that we need to round up all these homosexuals and send them to concentration camps. The problem with prejudice is that to discriminate against one minority group is to give cover to those who would discriminate against other groups as well. Do I simply refuse to believe 100% I'm a bigoted and small-minded, whatever you want to, might want to call them, Hatred, negativity, and blind discrimination are vicious vectors for violence and cruelty. The marriage amendment and laws like it give discrimination against gays the shroud and veil of legal authority. It says that gays are not as deserving as straight persons of the protections of the law. And it deprives gay citizens of one of the most basic rights imaginable, the right to marry. We should not be passing legislation like this that maybe one future generation is going to find out everything they need to know about gay people and they're going to say, well, it's just like they say from the 1895 Constitution, similar to when we put a ban on uh, same-sex, not same-sex, on interracial marriage. That was proven later by other generations to be unconstitutional. The same thing will happen to them. Because of my actions and the actions of other people, it, is now more, it will be now more difficult to overturn it in South Carolina. As Christian, let me say this, and as religious people, the person, the person that we believe in as Christian is Jesus Christ. And when you look at the four Gospels and read the word of Jesus and the compassion of Jesus, 
nothing ever came out about gay people. He respected people at the level that they, they needed to be respected. And he said, those without sin cast the first stone. And I think those of us in society, we have to learn that. We have to learn that we got to start treating people like the human beings. I look forward to a day when, throughout this great land of equality and liberty, our gay brothers and sisters are accorded the same rights as everyone else, and discrimination against them in any form will have passed into the distant and unpleasant memory.